Hello, I just wanted to show you how to edit all the home page elements um, since they're all kind of unique and this will probably be something for you to go back to time and again in the future. Um, first thing, if, if you click over to content editing and you see like this ghosting up here, all you have to do is click refresh. That's kind of a site-wide thing that, that's just going to happen. Um, so do it that way. Um, so we'll start up here with the quotes area if, you, if you're in content mode click edit widget HTML and several of these you'll have to do in the HTML mode um, this particular one you use raw HTML for this and you probably already saw but it's basically it's the content within the block quote um, that you'll change and then site is who said it CITE is who said it so then if you want to make new ones just copy and paste each list item. This LI stands for list. And just make sure it's in, inside the UL unordered list tag. Alright, and then um, this uh, top area, it's, it's navigation. It's not really editable, I guess. Um, because if, if you add anything or change anything here, we're going to have to redo you know, how that appears. Um, the content in here, again, not not really an editable thing, not really. Um, the uh, search, again, another non-editable item. I those those are basically there because they are available. So I use Squarespace components to get in there. So if if we do need to change some code, it's a lot easier to do that. Um, the slideshow is coming soon. Um, and actually, yeah, slideshow is coming soon, so look for that. But but that'll be all HTML editing as well. Uh, this area up here, edit HTML. Uh, this this one's pretty easy. This is an H2 tag, and this is a paragraph tag. Um, so if you switch over here to HTML mode, you'll see that's H2 and paragraph. Um, the horizontal kind of tagline um, that's also HTML and just be sure you do this one in raw HTML mode uh, because there is a little bit of script in there it just it, it, it's a script that makes sure this uh, text stays full width is what that's hap what's happening there so you know if, if you ever change this it, it may blow out may go you know wrap or something but we, we, we can work through it if if you have to change it uh, the about us container that's HTML that that should be pretty simple still loading so if we switch over here I think that's yeah it's also an h2 and then a paragraph and there is an image in place and you can definitely do this one through the WYSIWYG mode so if you select and you can upload a new image I'm just going to hit cancel. Um, just going to see what this image size is for you really quickly. That's 330 wide by 219 high. And then this links to our philosophy, which it's in the bottom of this editable container right here, our philosophy. And that's just an HTML link. I mean an href. Um, latest webinar, this is all manually edited. Uh, so let's start here with this. This is the title only. So it just says latest webinar h2 with, with a link to the webinars page. Um, this is a text description that, that you'll have to basically type or paste into this area. Uh, again, just basic HTML um, with a link, and this is where I need to change. It's going to be basically be the same link that I have up here. Between the quotes. And just for your information, any any link on the site, you would just basically go forward slash uh, we're, we're basically dropping off where it would say, you know, fruition.com or I'm mean, sorry, fruitionpartners.com 
that's what we're dropping off here. So it'd be like fruitionpartners.com forward slash webinars, da, da da da. So if you drop that off, then it'll it'll work just fine for you. Um so then if we preview, yep, we're good there on that link, and we're good there on that link. Um the video then, if we click content editing here. So the image is already set up, the, the background image for that container. Well, actually, it's it's this image here. Um, so if you upload a new video over at Vimeo, um, basically you would just probably just change out these numbers right here, which would be that, that Vimeo ID. Um, that should be quite simple. Um, and then you can give it a title. Uh, what would you know prob probably w whatever you want to call it but um, there's there's a position there for it and a position here for it um, and this text right there will will overlay over top of um, over top of the image this the thumbnail caption is what that is so there's that and you, you you'll want to do this one in raw HTML mode as well because there is um, some extra code in here that we don't want to lose. Um, latest widget HTML. This automatically is populated from the blog. Um, oops, this area right here is. Um, this is just the title area. If you do need, if, you know, if 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 you want to make this, you know, let's go back to preview. I guess if you see by, by by chance that this needs to be shorter or longer, um, hop over to structure edit mode, and when you mouse over this container, you'll see how it says configure. Click configure, and you can scroll down here, and here's here's the actual um, content that's coming in. That's the word trim. That's what that's called. So you can change that to like 55 or 50, or you know you can go larger, whatever. But it probably won't go much much higher than this. It'll probably bleed into that box. Um, then this area over here, the, the case study area, um, the lower portion, again, if you click configure while in structure mode, you'll see that you know it's pulling in the RSS and it's pulling in the content like this, the same way. Um, to edit this area up here, like, like this image, we would basically switch over to content mode and then say edit widget HTML and basically what we have here is the title the H2 with a link to the case studies um, journal and then I basically uploaded an image so um, you know it's a hard-coded image that you know it's kind of like a support image for that case study um, and if you're not going to change those out very often then this is like a surefire way to make sure that the image is going to look exactly how you want it to look on your home page so just you know select edit upload a new one um i think lastly would be all this footer content um this is uh html um so we would, we just want to be careful in here uh, actually i just noticed that this is cutting off here so let's go in configure Let's drop this down to 30. Let's see what we get. There you go. So at least we we can see the read more now. Um, so the the footer content, uh, which would also include the um, social sticky, you know, the, this this sticky bar down here at the bottom. Uh, you'd, you'd go to structure editing and this is where you'd want to be particularly careful um, but this is uh, post canvas code and if it looks you know weird here um, you can actually go up to website management website settings code injection and then uh, we said post canvas so, so you can see how it says edited and here is all of the footer content. So where it says start footer content here, um, 
here's kind of where all that information is. So there's like your logo and things like that. Um, but you know, if you change your phone number or something like that, it's you know it, it'll be in here. Um, I would I would suggest that you just kind of be really careful in here because this is you know all live HTML and it's not there's no r real undo, there's not an undo in this section. Um, but that's that's all of the um, all of the content for that. Um, actually, I think the the other footer. is in here. So after page body element is where I have the sticky footer. So this is that social footer, which I called sticky footer just because it's persistent at the bottom. Um, but here's where all the information here is like your LinkedIn. Um, that's the image and then the link to your LinkedIn account. So there's, there's all that on here. So again, just be careful in there. Well, if, if I'm ever editing that area, I usually copy it and paste it into like text edit or something like that. But this is your homepage. So <laughs> thank you.